Hi there, I'm Tom from Danfoss Climate Solutions. Now watch this video if you wish a correct valve bracing and a safe valve installation without future risk of refrigerant leakage. In this video we will show you how to use correct bracing tool and filler material, how to use correct protection gas and correct flow direction of this gas, how to brace the valve and piping correctly together, and how to cool the valve correctly during bracing and ensure that max allowable valve body temperature is not exceeded. Here you see the suitable bracing tool to use and the suitable bracing filler material. We recommend to use a copper wire with minimum 5% silver content as bracing filler material. So let's get started with the bracing. The first important step is the protection gas. Now it is very important firstly to ensure that the valve is fully open to allow flow of protection gas through the valve, as seen here. The valve is supplied in open position, as seen here. So we need to connect nitrogen protection gas to the valve connection on the opposite side of where you're going to brace the valve to the piping, as seen here. Now this is very important because this flow direction ensures that the gas heated up during bracing flows away from the valve body and not into the valve body, which in such case might damage the internal valve parts. Another very important step is water cooling of the valve during bracing. This is done by wrapping a wetted cloth around the valve body, as seen here, and then wet it with sufficient cold water to keep the valve body cooled down during bracing. Now, and why is this so important? Well, to ensure that the internal valve parts are not heat damaged by the bracing heat. We are now ready to brace the valve together with the copper piping. Please note that you can install the valve in the direction specified here. For the ease of bracing instruction, we place the valve in different orientations during the bracing, as seen here in this example. This is also ok if bracing the valve to piping as a part assembly, as seen here in these examples, as long as the final valve installation is according to the specifications shown here. The first step is to carefully preheat the piping to ensure that the bracing filler material being used will melt correctly and make a tight connection. However, for this small valve with small connections, this only takes a few seconds, as seen here. Then carefully add the bracing filler material to the connection between valve and piping while still heating the connection and complete the bracing as seen here. Again, for such a small valve the complete procedure only takes a few seconds. So take care not to overheat the valve and connections. As mentioned earlier, ensure that the max allowable valve body temperature is not exceeded during bracing as specified here. This done by ensuring that the cloth around the valve remains wet because once the bracing is completed, ensure that the valve and connections are cooled down. Please note that these parts are very hot as seen here. So be cautious not to accidentally touch these parts until they are sufficiently cooled down. Ok, we are now ready to repeat the whole bracing procedure for the second connection between valve and piping, as seen shortly in the following sequences. Again, watch out, because also for this second bracing, it is very important to pay special attention to correct protection gas flow direction, correct cooling of the valve during bracing, correct bracing of the valve and piping connection, and correct cooling of the hot valve and piping after the bracing. So to summarize the lessons learned from this video, you now know how to use correct bracing tool and filler material, how to use correct protection gas and correct flow direction of this gas, how to brace the valve and piping correctly together, and how to cool the valve correctly during bracing and ensure that max allowable valve body temperature is not exceeded. All this ensuring that you have a safe installation without future risk of refrigerant leakage. Have a look at the other Danfoss online videos where I talk about valves. Thanks for watching.